Hello friends, this is John Page with Page Timberworks. I want to tell you guys about a really special job. This project uh, was for a good friend of mine named Holt Condren. This was basically a dream that he had. He hired me to build a porch on his house and then he kind of told me about the real reason that he wanted to work with me was about a big dream that he had. Uh, to build a lodge with Scott Masters, a partner in Leatherwood on this property. A hundred acres uh, in the Ozarks and a, a Leatherwood National Forest. The property is one of those that is so gorgeous. There's bluffs and it's right on Big Creek, which is the second largest contributory to the Buffalo River. As he and I got to know each other, um, we would spend time on the land and just let him dream um, and I would just listen and and then I began to dream Holt's dream with him and it actually helped form up our little slogan building dreams um, because it was the most clear example of what that looks like. The location that we decided to build was on the high ground um, where it would look down on the creek um, where you would have uh, the feeling that you are uh, on top of a mountain and you get the whole view. We went into design phase um, and this is where I met my friend Chad Young that was doing the architecturals uh, and the design for this project. So I got to enter into the uh, tail end of the design phase. Friends of mine needed certain trees to come off their property. So I probably took about 40 trees down just in preparation to build this lodge. And then I started uh, cutting some of them up into the live edge siding that you'll see around the exterior. And then later as we got the timber shop drawings completed, I had a cut list for the uh, bottom cords of the trusses that are all arched and I was able to cut and harvest those trees. Basically, it's one of those projects that was mixed with lots of miracles, things that were just too divine. I had friends call with the right size trees, with the right amount of trees. I was able to cut every single tree down that we used in the entire frame uh, for the exterior trusses on the porch, for the three large trusses on the interior and all the rafters. Another friend of mine called and needed more trees to come down, so we were able to cut all of the timbers that's over the kitchen and that creates the loft. I needed to take down a few oak trees at my own house, so we took down a couple of white oaks, and then those two white oaks became the round posts that you see on the porch. And then we took the top of each tree and cut it and we plugged that into the tree to where it looked like a limb had grown out of it at just the right spot. My dear friend Chris Sepulveda uh, is a master timber framer and was able to basically accomplish Holt's dream of, of having a tree support the back porch. You'll see that the staircase, you can see right through it. Uh, with no posts supporting it. It's kind of suspended from the ceiling so that as you walk in, you can look out and see Roy's Ridge. Me and my brother-in-law, Stacy Stafford, built a spiral landscape feature. It was just one night up late talking with Holt while we were building the project. We created this idea of a spiral stone staircase. Our friend Scott uh, Masters he was all about gathering stone. Scott and I would go out on my machine and in a side by side and we would gather stone pieces. So every capstone we gathered by hand off the land. Along the way at some point I just knew that I had to do this job. It wasn't about making a lot of money. It wasn't about if I could do it or not. I had to do this project. I think when Holt met me, he realized that I was crazy enough to do it. And it took us to new places. I'm super thankful that we were, had the opportunity to build this dream and look forward to many more to come.